April 20th was a day many of us will remember as a pivotal moment in the realm of space exploration. On this day, SpaceX launched the first flight of Starship, the most powerful rocket ever built. Despite the great anticipation surrounding the launch, the journey was met with significant obstacles. Multiple engine failures were identified as the source of an explosive interruption during the flight, leading to a loss of altitude and subsequent tumbling of the vehicle. The booster and ship's flight termination systems were activated by contingency measures, marking an abrupt end to this historic flight test. While the mishap was disappointing, it did not result in any injuries or damage to public property, offering some silver lining amidst the unfortunate circumstances. Rather than marking this as a setback, SpaceX views this incident as a valuable opportunity to improve. The failures identified during the flight have provided valuable data to guide the refinement of the spacecraft. As a result, the company is actively investing in upgrades and revisions to the Starship design and engineering to prevent similar issues in future launches. One of the key features of Starship's original design is its autogenous pressurization system. This mechanism replaces traditional helium tank pressurization with a more efficient process using the rocket's own fuel, liquid methane and oxygen, to maintain tank pressure. This system allows for more reliable and cost-effective operation and also eliminates the risk of gas mixture issues, making it unnecessary to incorporate hot staging, a method used by other rockets including the Proton series. However, a recent sighting of an unusual stainless steel ring section at SpaceX's Starbase hints at potential design updates to Starship. The new section features multiple cutouts, forming six arches around the hull, a design characteristic of the interstage of proton rockets, known for their hot staging technique. This method involves igniting the engines of the next stage before separating the current one, enabling rapid separation. While Starship's autogenous pressurization system makes hot staging unnecessary for managing gas mixture concerns, the incorporation of this feature could be seen as a proactive response to the recent Starship failure. Just like a launch escape system, the hot staging strategy could allow for rapid booster separation in case of a booster malfunction, providing an additional safety measure for manned missions. To this point, Starship has not been designed with a dedicated abort system. Traditional spacecraft have included such a system as a critical safety feature, intended to quickly and safely distance the crew capsule from the rest of the vehicle in the event of a catastrophic failure during launch. This kind of system provides a means for the crew to survive such scenarios that could otherwise result in total loss. The implementation of an abort system in Starship, however, presents a considerable challenge due to the spacecraft's unprecedented size and mass, as well as the necessity for extremely rapid engine startups during emergencies. In terms of physical proportions and payload capacity, Starship eclipses traditional spacecraft. It is not merely a crew capsule, but a massive vessel capable of carrying significant amounts of cargo and crew, intended for ambitious long-duration space missions. Consequently, its size and mass pose a significant obstacle in the design and implementation of an effective abort system. It would require a solution that could swiftly generate enough thrust to propel such a large structure away from a failing super-heavy booster during a launch mishap. Further complicating this is the necessity for extremely rapid engine startups in the event of an emergency. An effective abort system must not only produce a massive thrust, but do so almost instantaneously. This need for speed is crucial for ensuring the safety of the crew during a mission failure. In addition to the significant developments regarding the implementation of an abort system, SpaceX CEO Musk recently revealed more changes to the Starship design. Specifically, the flaps, critical components that control the spacecraft during its unique landing maneuver, are set for a substantial redesign. The proposed changes involve reducing the size of these flaps and modifying their position on the spacecraft. Through these design modifications, SpaceX intends to enhance the flaps' effectiveness during the re-entry and landing phases of a mission. Furthermore, these seemingly minor tweaks could potentially eliminate the need for static aerodynamic covers that currently envelop the flaps. By doing so, the design could be significantly simplified, and the overall weight of the vehicle could be reduced. This weight reduction may seem small, but in terms of space travel, every gram matters. Lighter vehicles require less fuel to move, making space travel more efficient and cost-effective. 
SpaceX, on another front, is addressing the aftereffects of the April 20th mishap. The company is working diligently to reinforce the ground beneath its Starship rocket's orbital launch pad, which took significant damage during the recent test flight. SpaceX's approach involves the development of a massive water-cooled steel plate. This engineering marvel is designed to shield the ground from the colossal power of the rocket's 33 first-stage Raptor engines. This proactive strategy aims to prevent recurrence of the heavy scarring and pockmarks that the launch pad endured following Starship's inaugural flight on April 20th. It is worth noting that while the steel plate technology was not ready in time for the historic April 20th launch, SpaceX has since prioritized its development. In a testament to their rapid progress, the innovative steel plate has already been subjected to the formidable power of a single Raptor engine in tests. A video shared by SpaceX displayed the steel plate withstanding the engine's power without incurring damage. The question on everyone's mind now is, when is the next launch date? SpaceX seems to be wasting no time in regrouping for another attempt. The company has requested a six-month window from June 15th to December 15th to launch a Starship prototype to Earth's orbit from the company's Starbase facility in Boca Chica, Texas, according to their application submitted to the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC. It remains unclear whether Starship's second orbital launch attempt will carry any payload. However, the application did specify the need for an FCC special temporary authority for the mission. Before setting sights on interplanetary ventures, Starship is expected to first serve as a regular launch vehicle. It will be used to dispatch SpaceX's Starlink satellites and other payloads to Earth's orbit. Of course, to actually launch, SpaceX will also require permission from the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, which is responsible for issuing rocket launch licenses. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below and consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates in our next video.